Hello people, today um, I just wanted to go through this process of building temporary walls and removing the old walls and throwing in big beams. This was a special project, it was a corner, so it took a lot more bracing. But if you just have one little area, like let's just say this one wall, what you do is you find your joist layout, floor joist, and um, you put your top plate, bottom plate, you frame it exactly like an outside wall. So there's an example for you when you're looking at it when the drywall is removed. And you put your studs uh, on the joist, you find the nail holes, find the layout, and that's where you set your studs. If it's two feet on center, you put two studs there, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Another thing you do is you cut your studs exactly the same. You find that size, you cut them a little bit longer, an eighth of an inch longer for the first one, just so you get that pressure off your outside wall. And uh, when you're cutting your outside wall away, make sure that if you, your blade starts pinching, your wall, temporary wall, is not holding the upper level. So you gotta be careful because you might have some serious problems uh, you will run into later. Uh, sagging and cracking of drywall and who knows even collapse so be careful don't let your paint your blades pinch cut your studs a little bit longer lift lift it just give take the pressure off the outside wall and it'll make life very easy for you and your work will be very easy to deal with okay so now uh, if you need the additional uh, bracing on the outside this is what you do you kind of you find the existing outside uh, wall studs and you sister up two by fours and you nail the heck out of them you leave that space in between where you're going to put the beam and then you nail the heck out of them now if it's a corner i like to uh, cross brace it as well and that's where you see those these pieces that are going uh, at an angle that's just to hold it from actually moving to one side or the other and you usually do it in two places. So nail the heck out of it um, to the rim joist and uh, to the top rim, to the bottom rim and to the studs. Just every, you put a lot of nails in. It's easier to take the nails out than to fix a collapsing house or a sagging, a sagging the upper level because that takes a lot of different things. And another quick suggestion is if you got like this project, I have to, it's a pretty heavy corner, it's holding an upper level. So I braced it also in the crawl space. You make sure you have at least some kind of bracing in the crawl space or basement, uh, just so the load would transfer. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I'll have some more good videos, good tips for you.